that's the first thing I saw were all these videos and it was horrific and just more and more videos kept coming through which I will be able to explain what it was like to be there. Also, we're honoring these pigs that died today but also to know that this actually happens quite often and to all those other animals that suffer so, so long and so excruciating when they're in transport vehicle accidents because that takes them hours upon hours to actually get any help but then they essentially go anyway to the slaughterhouse. So it's horrific. I can't imagine what they go through lying on top of each other, dying, in the midst of dying, no care. It seems to be the first priority is clear the road, get traffic through, and then the animals, you know, come into their minds. That being said, there's also barn fires. There's a lot of tragedies that happen all the time. So we really, this movement is really getting stronger. Thanks to all of you guys. It's really important though to keep coming out and keep being active and try to get more activists out here. Because we're doing so well, like at each of these outreach events, we see change happening. Every week there's more and more vegans are more curious people. The less ridicule we're getting and more positive. Like, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it so many times I've been told, you know, you're the you're the final reminder that I gotta do this. So it's it's really, really great feeling. It's necessary and uh, we are very powerful, but just think if there were more of us, how much faster we can get this done. So I really want you to work on your friends, uh, get them out there, show up more and more if you have any time at all. I'm, I promise you it pays off, you'll feel so wonderful after leaving it's like oh you know you're a little nervous or shy or just like you have a ton of things to do but i'm telling you it's worth it just the feeling you'll get knowing you, you actually made a positive change so so just want to say that and with that being said our wonderful activist gem is going to talk Yay. about her experience so she'll just tell you what she saw so i was unfortunately able to be there on wednesday we got the call about the accident happening and headed down right away. We were a couple of the first people on scene and how the whole situation played out is um, they had just started off with some caution tape around and we could get a fair bit of shots. And as more activists came out, they started barricading it off even more and more. So they started putting tarps up. They tried to hide our shot as much as possible, which in my opinion just makes them look really bad. What are they trying to hide so intensely? Um, once they did get the barricade opened, you could see that there was a, a pig that was on the ground um, she wasn't moving, I'm pretty sure she was dead and any type of movement we did see was from the pigs walking over them. They were absolutely terrified, they were trying to run out of the truck but then running back in because they knew that they were going to get hit with these bats. They were like beating them with these paddles to get them out. You could hear it pretty violently in a couple of the scenes and then they started slowing down on that as they noticed that we were capturing that footage and that's when they put cardboard up. They got really intense with trying to hide this. Um, they wouldn't let us see anything, so they were guiding pigs out with cardboard and hiding every single one of them, one by one. Um, Toronto Pigs, they did a really, really great shot. It was actually capturing the footage of the animals sneaking off. But there was a lot of blood. There was a lot of animals that were injured that were collapsing on their way to the slaughterhouse. It was one of the most graphic things I've seen just in terms of hearing their screams even. Like, I've never, ever heard that. And having to be there for listening to that was really heartbreaking. Uh, there was a lot of emotional breakdowns that were happening and it was just really unfortunate because we tried to work with the Fearman's guy that runs it all and uh, we were just trying to save the ones that we knew were already going to be euthanized. They weren't able to be killed for food industry and they were going to be euthanized and killed and discarded anyway. So we were trying really hard to free some of them. We had sanctuaries willing to take them for free. We were discussing whatever we could and they wouldn't make any turnaround. Steve from Esther the Wonder Pig came down. He's only 20 minutes away from Burlington. So he came down and he was trying to have negotiations with the Fearman's Court guys as well. And they wouldn't budge on any of it. So ultimately we were trying to save 25 pigs and they wouldn't budge on any of it at all. So Fearman's shows no mercy and that's again why we're here today is to just bring attention to the fact that these animals wanted to live. They have the moral desire to live and breathe and they don't deserve what happens to them every single day. And as you can see from Toronto Pig Saves video, they went on the vigil and before the vigil, they had captured footage of again, more slaughterhouse coming in because it, the, the production didn't stop throughout this. There was still trucks coming in, there was still pigs getting killed. And then these ones who just suffered a horrible car accident are, and suffered through so much already are then being, having to force themselves walking while they're limping to their deaths. It was just a really horrible experience. And like Shauna said, honestly you guys, we need to make our numbers bigger and so it's so important that we're out here and this is really awesome to see how many people are actually here right now. So thank you guys for coming. Yeah. If you guys are trying to talk to your friends about getting involved, just know that that doesn't necessarily mean they have to 
come out to a protest, they have to do these more aggressive style things or things that people are scared of. Just know that there's so many tactics you can do yeah. and just hang Whatever posters out there, with. putting stickers yeah. up, like having a conversation with somebody, just anything that we can do and knowing, like even something super simple that you guys want to ask your meat eater friends to do is every single time they walk into a meat eater or like a meat restaurant, ask them if they have vegan options. Like get them to ask the restaurant yeah, if they have vegan options. Good. Because even if they're not going to eat that vegan option, it helps us get more options out there and it helps the word get out. So just like any little thing that your meat eater friends or any of your friends can do to kind of help the movement, it's going to work and it's going to be good. So just like there's simple things that don't necessarily have to make you come out of your comfort zone too much. And all together, it'll make a difference, guys. So but you thank already you. know that because you're here. So thank you. Whoa.